It's just a little, it's a little Reddit post. Uh, I already commented on this Reddit post. I haven't, to be honest, read through all of it. Um, so that's a slight disclaimer, but I just commented on the part that stood out to me, but we'll actually give it a good read over. For those of you guys who don't know what Hammer Time is, basically people submit educational content and we tell them whether it's garbage or not. So, uh, all right, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, we gotta change our, oh, it already says Hammer Time, all right. Guide to brig diffing your competitive matches, including replay code. Okay. Hey, Avalon. Da, 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 da. Okay. Go to the nose. Uh, booty blaster. Gameplays are on low masters. Okay. Brig is not tanky in some ways, in most ways, like you'd expect. However, Brig isn't squishy in regards either. Okay. Sure. The best way I could put a place out in the words would be if you're playing Reinhardt and your shield broke. What does this mean? So kind of a weird analogy, but I'll see what she goes. This means playing further up than your average support hero combined with using a lot of natural cover as your own second shield. Baby Ryan is an applicable term for us. That's pretty much what she is. Okay, sure. Like, it's kind of a weird analogy, but I get the idea. I don't want to nitpick things like that. Uh, use cover. You're playing a little bit more forward than your other backline, mostly to proc your Inspire. Um, the, the, the big thing with the Brig is that you want to proc your Inspire, and you want to be able to land your armor packs and DPS that need them, and then you need cover. So that's kind of your criteria. I need cover. I need good LOS and DPS, and I need to be able to proc my Inspire. Um, sometimes you don't have to really actively look to proc your Inspire. Some comps is just like you're gonna an opportunity will present itself. Uh, so that's that's a sometimes sometimes depends on the situation. To each other support players are present, oftentimes put your lives in front of theirs. Situations where they're able to take pressure off the other support, make the other team the start with them, sent for them. Um, less less hot on this one. So it's actually so here's the thing, you want to be able to a lot of the times against hard dive. Your job is to not only land the armor pack, but to be able to land the bash, to be able to land the, the defensive whip shot, etc., etc. But actually, a lot of the time, as Brig, you should not always be stacked directly on top of your support. This is a very general rule, but it, it depends on this very much on the situation. But saying, "Oh, I'm just going to sacrifice myself on you, throw three armor packs, and die swinging in your face," not really. Like your job is actually to Brig is excellent at, at defending her supports, but she's also used to defend her dps as well and defend her dps by actually just throwing them armor packs so Brig's job is proc inspire land your armor packs and peel for your backline as best as you can without actually sacrificing your own life so i don't agree with this part actually this whole mindset that like brig is just throwing herself in the line and dying for a team is as archaic as the idea that reinhardt should always be protecting his team and sacrificing himself for their cost like reinhardt his job is to create space for his team, not to protect his team, right? His job is to create space and hold space to defend against enemies that would threaten his team by hitting them with his hammer and using his shield for himself. Same thing with Brig. Brig doesn't, Brig isn't about, like sometimes Brig can like use her shield to protect her backline sometimes. Brig can whip shot enemies away, but that's a very, very general statement, which can, my problem with this is that in lower ranks, if you start up with very big general things like this that aren't actually very accurate, you can get, like silver plats and gold players making mistakes um uh chat would you like me to review this i could go over their uh their master's brig um replay code and actually go over their own gameplay and talk about the good and bad things that they're doing okay um okay shield usage um, and not 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 to humiliate this person. They took a lot of time. They wrote up a nice little guy here, um, but just to, just for entertaining, just for not entertaining. That's not, but to actually like talk about some of the things that we're talking about here. Uh, feels like a heavy support with the kit. Potential however, is arguably one of the most vulnerable supports in the game. Okay, on top of having very low movement, her kit revolves around an easily broken shield. Sure, keeping the shield available to bash or take high damage blow over a game changing ability uh, is crucial. Um, uh, to maintain one of the only forms of protection she has. As I like to put it most of the time, I value shield more than her health in general gameplay. Uh, I don't think, I don't agree with that. I think this is not something I would certainly say at all. I think, like, you just value your shield HP. Don't waste shield HP playing your cover. I, I don't think we have to overemphasize. That's like saying, you need to be driving so far from oncoming traffic, you should be driving almost off the road. Ooh, no, I don't, I don't like what that puts me into. I think that's actually almost as bad as uh, valuing my shield HP, not at all. I don't think that's a good thing to say. Um, okay. Shield bash is the most controversial part of a kit next to armor packs. Rightfully so. I actually think it's whip shot now. I, I don't think shield bash is much hated too much anymore. I think uh, whip shot is hated and armor pack is hated. Shield bash is relatively tame now that it only does five damage, uh, has a slightly longer cooldown, and it doesn't bash through shields anymore. So it's, it's not, it's annoying. I actually, I'm, I'm getting nitpicky. Sure. 
Right, so let's restore the same as Keep aggression off of you or your team. Most extreme ways it can be even use ultimate abilities. Use to keep, use to keep. It's to keep the enemy as close to you as possible, and there's no other to use for it. Okay. Yeah, I like that we're not, we shouldn't really actively be looking for value out of a shield bash. We should be waiting for enemies to get into our grill, and then we use it to hold our space, just like flashbang. Yeah, it used to deal, it does five damage. It used to do 50. It used to do 50, which is why you had the Tracer one-shot combo of the Bash, Swing, Whip Shot. Uh, whip Shot and Spark combos, a lot of your enemies are going to strike your enemies with the flint using the range of a Whip Shot, boop enemies to enable your Inspire. Very simple. It would be tough to do a higher speed range, aiming both in range and on position. This is where the majority of the healing output becomes. Range is actually quite large, so for example, even a few miles on Lucio's passive range. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's even bigger than Lucio's passive range. That's news to me. Cool. You want to aim to keep your Inspire up as long as you can. Reoccurring successful whip shots can allow you to keep Inspire up at all times, so it's mastered by very few. Whip shot is also a great camp for finishing off low opponents. It does 70 damage and getting environmental kills. Fine, it has a stronger knockback than Lucio. Cool. On, everyone. Yo, that's cool. Interesting. Okay. Um... And the stun used to be long. Yep. Brig at release was the most powerful hero in Overwatch history at any point in time for any on any role. With a close second, very close second, being post rework mercy. And you can I'll fight you on that one. I don't think any any other heroes have come even close to that. Not a single hero in this game has been as broken as that. Since in the last four or five years that I have ever since I've ever started playing the game. Armor packs are your other only active source healing. This with your attention. At most, strength below diamond. Using armor packs is pretty simple. Keep your critical health teammates, well, not critical. I, I don't I don't agree with this. I think this, again, opens up to packing tanks too much. I do agree that armor pack can be used on tanks, but if you're waiting until a squishy is critical before you armor pack them, then that's no good. You should be preemptively packing, not preemptively, but packing DPS if they're aggressing or squishies if they're aggressing before they get to critical, right? You could probably say, you probably, like, like we don't armor pack tanks unless they're critical but we do armor pack squishies even if they aren't critical right um sigma is kind of close though no sigma is definitely almost certainly third well yeah i th i think so i would have to go down the list um probably sigma third but i i i think there's a pretty big gap between valk mercy and sigma because sigma was very strong but Sigma actually took a while to catch on, and yeah, okay. Um, gives ninety healing, around ninety healing over two seconds. Doesn't it give more than that? Doesn't it give more to that chat? I, I, I'm not gonna tab over, but I'm pretty sure it gives like one hundred twenty healing or something like that over two seconds. Um, give doubles the duration. Okay, good. A very good tip I use at high levels always pocket the last armor pack change and keep it free of the support so I, I disagree with this one so i think you should pocket your last armor pack charge and save it for when you need it if your support is under pressure sure if you've got a if i've got a genji who's critical that's almost as important as a zenyatta who's critical like the, the gap isn't much it might maybe in some circumstances it's even more important um because the genji is probably in a position to where he's in a lot of trouble um where the zenyatta might have just taken a body shot or something like that um that I do not agree with that because especially like we're gonna go over down here and we're gonna talk about like you know Moira Brig, Bap Brig, and I'm like a lot of times the Bap is just not gonna need armor pack very often unless you're playing up against a pretty hard dive composition. So I, I do not agree with this at all. Um, do, 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 do. 110 healing. Okay, so yeah, he, the numbers are off here. Um, being a solo hero is brig is really impossible. Okay, rally is usually when a fight is about to happen. This is bad. This is not good. Because the armor accumulation is not enough to justify using the ultimate mid-fight because of duration. The armor chips down relatively quickly. It's not as strong as it used to be. It doesn't last forever and stay on your team. And it also means that your team is vulnerable to being kited. So if people hear, ah, rally it to me, and we're about to fight, and I'm like, you, you want to get out of here? Yeah, well, let's, let's go, man. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm not sticking around for a rally. There's no way. I'm out of here. 
you can you can sit and you can rally to you know, rally to crap. I don't give a rip. Enjoy sitting on that one. I'm gonna wait that one out and then engage afterwards, even if it means giving up a little bit of space. So this is not not good. You need you need to be full, to, especially when you're wasting the, the extra little bit of speed that she gets. It needs to be used immediately as the fight starts, similar to coalescence. You don't wait mid fight most of the time, uh, and it's not gonna counter enemy ultimates. But using it before a fight is not good. During the fight or directly before a fight. Uh, the early armor production is rather than earlier use the more armor your team will have to fight. This is this is wrong, 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 wrong. Because yes, the accumulation is gradual, but you should not be playing in a situation where you're going to be getting one shot anyway. In fact, if you think about it, the amount of armor that an individual can sustain on their HP pool and the amount of armor that's generated by rally is more so so here we're, we're just, we're, i'm not i'm not i'm gonna i'm gonna explain my concept right away okay so rally i think what is it 100 extra hp 100 extra armor you can get is that correct so you can get to go from 200 to 300 hp for a period of time okay something like that so 15 armors per four, side for 0 0.5 seconds up to 100 armor okay so it so the duration is 10 seconds so you have an opportunity here to get 150 armor through the fight through the course of the fight if you use it before a fight and you max them then you're you you're, you reduce some of the value because you remember you want to be using and you want to be spending your armor hp mid fight right so that you get the extra 50 armor instead of just like charging it up. There's more of a chance of it actually going through. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. It's 0 0.5 seconds. So yeah, you're, you're right. It's 300 armor. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's 300 armor. So you're, you're, you're potentially, if you're doing it early in the fight, you're believing there's a potential that you're gonna admit, like you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have some of it burned down because you're probably gonna use a rally for three or four seconds and then go in. But not only are you wasting the, the mobility here, right, the move speed buff, but there's a huge chunk of your armor generation is going to be wasted because you've lost it, because you've used it too early in the fight. So this is, this is wrong. You, you, you should not be feeding with rally, right? But you want to be actively spending your rally armor as you're using it to get the most benefit of it. And it also means that you don't get kited on it either. Um, This is this is wrong, and it's and this is wrong. You're wasting the additional regeneration. You're leaving yourself open to being kited, and you're wasting the uh, duration only only because you're scared that you might die mid rally, or one of your teammates dies mid rally. If somebody dies mid rally, they're just they're just they're just stupid. That should just never ever ever happen. The risk that you take that potentially somebody might die mid rally because they didn't have a full 100 armor charged up is significantly lower than the value that you consistently lose by using rally this way. Do you think it's gotten easier or hard to get GM of you? It's gotten harder. The the level of play across the game has gotten has gotten higher. It's been it's but but it's also matched by the fact that things have gotten better in the game, quality of life, so it makes it easier to grind. Um because like like while you wait, two two two, I think the over Overwatch educational content has significantly improved over the last year and a half, two years since it was before. Before it was terrible. You go to a Stylosa for VOD review, you you send in an email, hope that he reviews you, and then you watch him review another gold Genji. And that's it. You know, or you or you fork over seventy dollars for like coaching that like that was relatively raw at the time. Right. All right. So I'm not really hot, hot too hot with this. Counters, here's a list of brig counters. You counter Trace to Doomfist Lucy or Reaper Genji. I don't think this is a counter as much. So I don't think supports counter supports too much because they never really interact with each other and their abilities don't really interact with each other too much. For example, you might think like, oh, BAP counters on a nade, but BAP counters Discord too. And BAP also counters a Lucio boop that might boop your May out of position who doesn't have ice block because he has immortality. But like BAP counters like all of that. Or, or you could say like Lucio speed counters on a nade because if you get naded, you can speed out. Like I'm, I'm looking, whenever I'm looking at counters, I'm looking at more like composition, compositional matchups where those heroes are forefront and center. Or I'm looking at 
hero matchups not necessarily the 1v1 but hey i'm brig i can bash reaper which makes him screw off like you're not gonna like brig doesn't really want to fight reaper 1v1 but she does provide a lot of deterrent for reaper going backline lucio should never even be in a point to where he even gets bashed right like yeah lucio can't beat brig 1v1 consistently in a, in a 1v1 but that's not really lucio's job anyway whereas it is absolutely a reaper or a Genji's or a Doomfist's or a Tracer's job to contest backline in some way, shape, or form at some time. So um, this is this is doesn't belong here. Now, what what hero does belong here, chat? You tell me. What hero does belong here? Because there's at least one hero that should be here. What hero is that? Genji's already in there. Diva, uh, 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 maybe, but again, Diva's not exactly here. That's consistently in Briggs Grill. Yeah, Baller Winston. Baller Winston. More so than Diva because Ball and Winston are more likely to have interactions with Brig, and that requires a Brig to be there. Sombra to a lesser extent, but yeah, you could. I could theoretically see Sombra in there as well, because Ball, because because you can bash at a Sombra and swing at her, and even if she's like you know 10, 15 meters away, you will force a translocator pretty quickly. But Ball, prob, Ball or Winston, almost certainly definitely over lucio okay and again i'm not i'm not trying to nitpick this post there's a couple things in this post that i'm not really happy with this one is not a big deal this is just kind of like anecdotal or interesting but i don't but but at the same time i'm also like man if the enemy team picks ball i really think if you are a main support player you should be looking to swap the brig but it's not in the guide so uh unfortunately you get counterpicked by farah yeah widowmaker yeah i guess so bastion echo reinhardt these are fine um i wouldn't say echo is necessarily a counter um I'd say Junkrat would be over like an Echo or a Widowmaker. Uh but but sure. That's that's I don't want to nitpick that too much. <laughs> Hanzo a little less so. Any hero that like that you can avoid you can more consistently is fine. Far and Echo are kind of far especially is a pain because she just can spam you like you can't do squad against her. Hanzo is easier to hide from. Okay, support combo is Briggs healing is best paired with support with higher healing output than average. Moira on it, are good candidates. Moira is not a good candidate, but uh, um, Brig Lucio is very possible at the high, very high level. Not usually. Very, you very rarely see Brig Lucio anymore. Since Brig was nerfed to 200 HP and her Inspire healing was slightly lowered as well, um, when she was a little bit tankier and did a little more Inspire healing, it was more prefer. It was a possibility, but it was still very risky. Um, very few disciplined teams can play it, but I would not at all say this is how you see at a higher level. Um, maybe if you're playing like Balls, Sig on Ilios Well with like dive DPS, where you don't, you sacrifice some of the Zen Ana utility for like boop threat. Preferred over other combos? No. Okay. Uh, best combination of going the meta. I mean, this is just basically Ana's really good at healing tanks, and you can protect her, and you can really good at healing DPS, which Ana struggles with. And you can also peel off an Ana, which allows her to be very aggressive with her cooldowns, and because she can get a lot of value with her cooldowns, if she's allowed to be aggressive, it, it makes sense. Okay. Um, no, it wasn't meta, but it was doable. I think the only team that I remember running Brig Lucio in Overwatch League was Houston Outlaws, and they were trash at it. So, um, yeah. Bat, Brig. Um, going to more aggressive side, baby. Pretty easy. Stay close to your tanks. Please don't. Uh, yeah, see, I, 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 don't, I don't love this. See, you don't want to be staying close to your tanks because that's just going to mean that you take more damage and get more likely to be one shot. The BAP Brig synergy is the fact that BAP is like even more better at healing tanks than Ana, um, but he has like little to no capability to heal DPS. So your job is literally pocket Genji, try any DPS that you run. Like the reason that you saw BAP Brig uh, as like the double shield thing right before it died was because people were playing genji and tracer with it and echo with it and back can't heal a genji or a tracer and echo like it's it's ridiculously hard even at the highest level so like that's why you ran brig with it um 
Moira is chosen, your team's looking to be one giant meatball. But see, do you see the problem with this? So Moira Brig is bad. Here's why Moira Brig is bad. The heroes don't have counter synergy. Because you can think, oh, Moira is very good at healing tanks. Brig is good at healing squishies because Moira can't heal them. Makes sense, right? Right, but the problem between Moira and Batiste is Batiste is very flexible with range and spam, and he can play spam, he can play brawl. Moira is literally nothing but brawl. Moira brings nothing to the table except I hope we kill you really fast because I'm going to run out of healing. And so when you have that sort of a win condition of either raw survivability or raw speed, who should you be playing with, Moira? Lucio, exactly. Moira demands Lucio. Now, again, I'm talking about higher rank competitive like Masters Diamond. But if you're playing with a Moira and you're playing a Reinhardt or a Winston or something like that, you need to go Lucio. You need the tempo. Otherwise, you're going to lose. You're going to get spammed out by literally anything. You're going to run out of healing. You're going to run out of. You have no damage and you're going to die. Brigitte will help you increase your damage slightly because she'll be able to armor pack some of your DPS, but it's not enough to compensate. So I do not like Moira Brig, especially considering we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not using like. I don't get it. Like what? No Zenbrig. I don't. I don't know. No Zenbrig, but we're gonna have Moira Brig. That's that seems scuffed to me. Mercy Brig. Uh. Yeah, that, this is fair. I think Brig Mercy is a pretty rough comp to play, but it is possible. It just requires. It's like Zenbrig, but worse. Um, because your Brig does the same job that the. Uh, Zen does in terms of pocketing your DPS, but she provides a little less utility. Um, so Brig Mercy is not great, um, but Zenberg Zenberg is a definite f big over oversight, especially considering we include Moira Brig. And honestly, Zenberg is better than Brig Mercy. So if we, we could have removed both of these and put in Zen Brig, um, okay. Oh, Briggs in. Basically, I talk about Briggs in here. Briggs in is excellent, but doesn't work well with Reinhardt, Winston, Rest, and Tunic, Diva. Things demand more support. If your team is running some combination of Ball, Hogs, Zarya, and Sigma, especially if you're running Flanky Diva. So this guy goes, oh, but you can play it with Winston. Winston, Zarya works well with Zenbrig. No. So I was being polite here, but I'll be honest with you guys here. Zenbrig with Monkey is almost never the play. Um, unless you have Primal or you have like an uber good Winston. And even then, it's not the play because the Winston, even the best Winstons, they just take damage. It's just how it is. Not to mention that there's an inherent synergy between Nano and Winston, right? When Nano Winston is, a lot, is really, really strong, so you would prefer to have Nano than you would Trance. Um, yeah, you can follow up with Discord, but you can also follow up with Nate. So uh, the, 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 the Zen Brig with Winston, you end up, like I said here, you end up Harmony Orbing and packing your Winston a whole lot, which leaves your DPS out to dry. And if you're leaving your DPS to dry, then why are you playing Zen Brig? The whole reason that you play Zen Brig is to enable your DPS and flankers, not your monkey. Um, didn't Shanghai Force Sigma Zen Mercy Winston? Yeah, that, that, that would work better. That would work better. And, th and th I'm not saying it's a trash comp. It can work. It's just very niche and or not optimal okay um but yeah i i don't i'm gonna give this a low tolerable um because i appreciate some of the details we put in here not bad but i'm not real happy with about several things that were put in here um not just the nitpicks just the overall the rally usage the armor pack uh, usage wasn't great. There's just like a lot of little things that were wrong and a couple of fairly significant things. So we're, we're you guys wanted me to look at the replay code. So we'll look at the replay code from this brig. Um, and to be clear, they provided it for reference, further in-depth analysis. Um, so we're not going to flame this brig at all. This is not, they did not ask for coaching. This is just reviewing and taking some of the concepts that we talked about in the earlier lowering thought and applying it here. So let's be respectful in chat, please. This person took the time to like write up some information that I'm sure lots of lower rank players will find helpful. Arriving at watch point, oh, sick. Gibraltar brig play, doesn't get much better. So like you look at the situation here and the first question you should be asking is like, who do you think we should be prioritizing with our armor packs? We look at our backline, we're running on a brig. So that takes a little bit of heat off of no Zen, no mercy, things like that. So we're running doom, okay? 
candidate number one, and we're running Tracer, candidate number two. To a lesser extent, your monkey maybe as he goes in, if you've got an extra pack and you're not going to need it, yeah, you can you can you can uh, pack your monkey as well. Um, Hog shouldn't take any though, like almost ever. And Ana, for the most part, won't need a ton either. By the way, one thing that's going great for this already is that this is, in my opinion, the best Brig skin. I love this Brig skin. <laughs> So this is unfortunate because we instantly walk out and our Doom doesn't get an armor pack even though he's aggressing in. So you would, you would, so you optimally need to armor pack your Doomfist here, right? So you see how she dropped too early and she didn't, she should have armor packed him on entry because you know he's going to be taking damage on entry. You know this high ground is going to be contested, so we miss an armor pack on our Doomfist. And then we're also playing in a location where we can't pack him anyway. So you're thinking like, well, she's pushing cart. Well, she doesn't need to push cart. This engagement needs to go well first. Um, let me put it up before this actually like is valuable. I'm going to just get rid of the rank. Um, camera time. Um, can, can, um, actually screw it. I'll just do, I'll just, I'll just, it's going to get too confusing otherwise. So we need to like, we need like, like we need, we needed to support our, um, wait, what is the title of my stream still? Is it still coaching Genji? Support coaching. Whoops. I'm so bad with my stream title. Sorry, guys. I'm, nor I'm normally, I don't really don't update my stream title, so it's throwing me off. But yeah, we missed that. That was good. Good bash. Forces a trade. No comments on the username. I already made one. So you can kind of see here. This is the kind of situation where we're like, okay, we see a critical tank, so we're going to double pack. Because look at the look at the situation here. There's nobody else to pack. Our trace is super passive, and we need to make sure our monkey survives. So that was that was totally fine to double pack that. And then now we just sit on packs. We don't do anything. But yeah, I, I actually think packing there was fine. But he, but th this is not fine. I don't know if this is a mistake or what. I'm gonna change this to five seconds. I'm gonna learn my lesson. But you see this here. We're in initiating. Doomfist is going in again. And we're at very low on packs, and instead we prioritize in packing our Winston, and our Doomfist is going to die again. He needed to be packed on Engage, so that he has the option of this. Because the problem with packing only when your support hits, hits critical is they've already given up the good positions that were allowing them to get value in the first place. You think he misses pack? Right, but that's still, still, still no, no bueno. You know what I'm saying? Also. It really should not be his job to push cart here or her job. I'm, I'm just gonna whatever. Like, um, so this would be Hog's job because Hog's contribution at range here is minimal. You see this? And Hog is also relatively flexible position. You know, Hog can play here. He can flank around this way. Brig not so much. You need to clear the high ground, and you're also very, very much range centric. This is it. so you're gonna put uh, her here so that she can support the entire map more, and she's off of the low ground where she's more at risk. So I we do not like our, our I just like get it, but I don't I don't like it. I, I would have just instantly opened with a whip shot here. You open with a whip shot because more damage, instant proc of inspire. You save your shield bash as a cooldown for escape or whatever, and because it's the highest damage. Like if you if you're literally trying to just put pressure on the Steven, survive, whip shot her instantly, get rid of her, survive, survive, survive. She comes in again, you swing, whip shot her again. Like don't I would not walk in and open with a bash. This is a mistake. Because now she's, you could you could get naded here, and if you do get under pressure, like she misses the whip shot too, like what's gonna save you? Okay, we armor pack our tracer, fine. We're sitting on three packs now, so really we can pack whatever we want right now. Nice whip shot. So like right here, you could very, you should armor pack your monkey once because you're sitting on three packs. Use the pack on a target that makes sense. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good. But yeah, we forgot about the tracer and I got punished for that. That wasn't a huge deal. You're honest. Just it happens. Should have gone high ground. Should have gone high ground for sure. Because, 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 because there's no way we win this fight. Like your 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 the team is backing out, and you need to be with your team on high ground. So she's she split from backline again. She's split from backline, she's not prioritizing high ground, and she's not pocketing her DPS. Like, look at this. This is not no, not good. And now we're, what did we just pack there? I mean, I guess it's, we got three packs, right? Well, no, we don't. No, we don't have three packs. That was no bueno. 
Oh, it was Ana. Never mind. I thought that was. A, why did I think that was a hog? I swear that was a tank. I was going too fast. Oh no, we missed our whip shot. Okay, Procker Inspire. Play really passive. Like again, like like we're baiting our Ana to drop. Like this is a really really major positional error here. Because look at what happens. Look at what happens. Okay, Ana's like, where's my tr where's my brig? Where's my brig? Where's my brig? I'm being dove. I'm being dove. Help! 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 They're literally three v twoing me right now. Three v three, and our brig is just like la 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 la. Right, and and there's stuff actually happening here with the high ground where, where it should be happening, right? This is what we're actually worth fighting for. So you're not peeling for your backlane, you're not enabling a DPS, so what ends up happening? Your Ana has to nade, your Ana almost dies. She ends up dropping from high ground to survive. And then the high ground, which you should be fighting for, is completely left wide open to the enemy team, and your Doomfist dies because of it. As well as your Tracer, who's now completely cleared out of a good position. So we have some major positional issues with our, with our Brig. And for what? Like, what are we getting here that we wouldn't get elsewhere? No reason to be low ground. Unfortunate. <laughs> and again, just so we're late to the party in high ground. And then we, and then we end up getting picked. Okay. Hot, hot take. Brig play at like a medium to like at high level like I wouldn't say this is a high level But like at a medium to high level plus all the way to like overwatch league is actually kind of satisfying to watch It's not like super entertaining, but somehow I find it satisfying It's like oddly reminiscent of like monkey play where it's not like super engaging to watch all the time But somehow it's like kind of like satisfying Especially new brig old brick screw off of that crap busted takes no thought like you're not actually like good but now at least now that i know what the hero is supposed to do i enjoy kind of like studying and looking at what it's doing i, I find it a lot more enjoyable like i don't hate coaching brig and i don't even i even occasionally play brig uh and, and like quick play and stuff just because you know it's like hey this is kind of fun okay so we should be actively w king right now so this rally is in my opinion a little early so like right now but at least we're pushing, you know? Like, we're at least we're pushing and taking space because of it. But you kind of see what I'm talking about? Do you, you see the problem here? Like, do you see, like, what we brought up? Like, like and you could see in her guide where she's saying, like, oh, you need to be leading up to a fight. Like, right now as the fight starts. So w do we see the fruits of her labor here? Because she's doing exactly what she was talking about. Well, actually, this is kind of late according to her settings. But let's just say, and, and look what's happening. You see what's happening? You see what's happening? How much value did we get out of this rally? You know, you kind of see what I'm saying? They all just dip. They all just dip. So, I mean, the rally timing wasn't that bad. I think it could have been, I think she definitely could have waited a second or two. Um, but this that, that, that literally just proves my point with what we were talking about in the actual review of not getting caught yourself guided. Ooh. And what ends up happening is that the vast majority of your team's armor, yes, they're fully armored, but so what? Like, what? what is your team doing with their armor right now? Where's the combat that they get value out of the brawl? I mean, heck, your Doomfist, who's armored to the gills. Was he? Oh, no, he wasn't. Either way, like, your, your team is armored to the gills. And, and what? And so what? For, for what reason did you, did, you, did you get armored for if it's just this? Maybe it's a bad habit, but it's been it's been quite a while since goats. And this person wrote up a guide. We should we should be a little better. Nice bash out of punch. Great bubble from the Zarya as well. So this is where the shield HP thing becomes a problem. Okay, this this is where I have a problem with their shield HP discussion. Because you see right here. This this there needs to be shielding here. There needs to be shielding here. Just to survive this HP so that because like you need it. It's like it's like Reinhardt You trade your shield HP you trade your HP you find to find a balance, right? And you always prioritize on conserving your own HP over your shield HP when it's very low So they they, they flipped it. They said oh no no shield HP is more important than actual HP I'm like no, that's not that's not true because if your shield breaks you don't die if you die It doesn't matter if your shield's broken or not. So like right now we have full shield and 20 HP 11 HP and we're too busy landing a whip shot than we are to actually shield the tracer. Just shield the tracer for one clip. You'll go up to like 50, 60, 70, 80 HP, whatever. Give a swing, shield again, and we can go from there. But this, but this again, you can get like one HP. Did we die here? 
but you can kind of see my exact problem with the feedback that they were giving right there. So you've seen back-to-back -back problems with the rally and with the shield usage in their guide and directly in their own gameplay of why it's a problem. So without going into the errors here, because no, we're just doing this for fun, but the advice itself, the coaching itself, you can see the flaws. And like right here, you should absolutely go help your Doomfist. I would be bashing after my Doomfist to help my Doomfist, especially. Nice whip shot. Maybe she's really nostalgic. Nostalgia for goats is the biggest example of Stockholm Syndrome and rose-colored, tinted, whatever glasses I've ever heard in my life. Goats was the worst era in Overwatch League ever, and that includes Mercy Meta. It, it, like, I, I remember watching the viewership numbers plummet month to month to month to month. And the entire chat, Twitch chat, complaining, 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 over and over and over. It killed viewership, man. It killed viewership. And they still haven't recovered. I mean, obviously, Twitch, YouTube, so that's an unfair comparison, but... Again, here, I, I think, like, there needs to be more of a priority of, like, going in here and assisting this, because, like, your team doesn't need peel or supportive here. So I would bash for mobility across here, shield, make sure I didn't get hooked, and then pocket this. Not sure if we'd get there in time, but... I would abandon my on on cart briefly to do that. Okay, let's look at our armor pack usage here. Double pack in Azaria, not so much. A single pack, uh, sure, but definitely not a double pack here because now we're caught without a pack. We need to try and bash that. We need to try and bash that. Nice. Uh, so that's why he lost. I kind of get why we rallied it though. I don't think it was a feed. Hey, there you go. Maybe we actually get something out of this. Go, 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 go. So yeah, rally was just fine. It was, it was, it was tough. It was tough. So we need to go high ground here. This is another situation where, like on first point, you want to control high ground. Not because you get some inherent advantage out of high ground, which you do. You get easier whip shots, a little bit more safety. Um, but because you have a better vision of supporting the people uh, that you need to be supporting. For example, if you're on high ground here, you can clear this tracer, but you can also have an easier time pocketing your Doomfist. Like right now, I'm not even sure why we're not pushing up here. Like maybe we are now, but we want to help support our Doomfist and tracer clear out high ground here. What if you only ever watch? Like goats is goats was like goats is like probably I don't I've never drunk alcohol before. I avoid alcohol, but like if you drink a really really strong alcohol. And we're like, whoa, what a buzz, dude. That's crazy. And imagine you had to drink that kind of crap like three times a day for a week. You would be so sick and so miserable. I'm, I, I'm not. I'm speaking out of my butt because I don't. I, I, but that's how I feel. Like it got old real fast. It got old so fast. But yeah, do you see how like again like we talked about this with the Zarya VOD review earlier? How like everything that's actually happening here, the like, miss whip shot there sucks. But like, do you see what's happening over here? Do you see what's happening over here? You kind of see like 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 you're just you're not you're not really you're just like spectating the fight here. With all the stuff that's happening over here and out here, and, and you're not doing your job. You're not in a position to help anybody or contribute to anything. So I think the position here could be a little better. When possible, go high ground. Nice. Unless you got I I mean I look, I look good. Uh oh, that's unfortunate. And a reminder chat to please be respectful. Like I'm trying to be trying to be respectful here. Um, I'm not doing as good of a job as I should be, but this is not a coach review. This is just discussing the stuff that we went over in the guide to kind of give a visual example. Again with the armor pack usage here as well. So just important that we don't armor pack tanks, especially when they're hogs, like full HP, stuff like that. Like like this is a situation where they're beating, so you definitely are gonna want to save packs for a tracer, for doom. Uh, your, for your Zarya, just in case. Like right now, your Zarya could use a single pack, maybe. Yep, probably did, probably wouldn't double pack that. And then rally. Great. And now this they can't kite it. They have to commit. You guarantee win the fight now. Intellectual powerhouse of Twitch chat. Okay, you make f you say that, but if Twitch chat hates it, and they hate 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 it. And they hate it Overwatch League will die. Like, everybody makes fun of the casuals, and I get it. But if the casuals don't enjoy it, the, the, the league's not going to exist. 
And the fact that Goats went on for an entire season is is what completely made me lose hope and like lose a lot of faith in Overwatch League's capabilities. Nothing really to say here so much. Good bash. I appreciate the respect to the back line. We're doing a good job kind of keeping our head in a swivel there. Check front line, check back line, check front line, check front line, back line, right? It's the it's the uh, multi multitasking, right? This is another situation as well with Brick where you can definitely go high ground. Um, um, you can deny the Doomfist from even staging. The Doomfist doesn't have a really good staging ground to begin with, so you can kind of deny that. Um, or you could even play, play up here. There's like a lot of different things you could do here. I would be very careful about where we are right now then. Do you agree with hero pulls? No. I think the hero pulls that they introduced are really interesting. But I don't like them, no. We lost Dr. Ryan. Yeah. We lost Dr. Ryan and we died in cart. So this is what I was talking about earlier. This is why you go high ground. Because like your Ana is smarter than you are here because uh, my replay code is bug. Okay, there we go. Um, because look at your, where your Ana is positioned, okay? Do you see how she's like already anticipating and moving up to high ground? And look at where you are. So we talked a lot about like protecting your backline, protecting your backline. And here's this perfect circumstance where you should have not only protected your backline better, but you should also rotate it to a better position. You're on had the right idea. Go high ground, go, you know, this kind of safe position, but you're sitting on the floor. So you're sitting on the floor not only costs you your ability to peel for your Ana, but also costs you your life. No, I do not agree with hero pulls. Hero pulls are a lazy man solution to just being ag aggressive balance changes. Like they just they just hit Ryan, they hit Bap, they buffed Hog. Like if it's like I talked about this on Reddit, if like if it's still a problem, then we can nerf Kree or Diva potentially. But like I I just we missed a pack there, unfortunate. But like I, I no I do not agree. I do not agree. Pack on a Ryan, kind of sus. Again, another pack on Orion. It's our last pack is now running out. Rally. Unfortunate. And that's gonna be it right there. Okay, we'll watch a little wee bit more. Looks like we full hold this, very nice. I assume we full hold this, otherwise we get rolled. Okay, so I think um, we're kind of seeing some of the weaknesses. We saw the one time where we rallied, like we talked about in the VOD, the rest of it was mid fight and it went very poorly, or in the, uh, the Overwatch University post. Shield management also didn't go super well as well. Uh, armor pack usage, I think positioning is actually the biggest issue right here. A lot of time spent by herself, standing on main, standing on the ground, instead of going up and supporting, and really prioritizing and pocking your DPS. And that was the other thing that we talked about in the, in the, the, the hammer time. Not enough information or attention given towards how important it is to pocket your DPS. It was a lot about like pocket critical people. That, that's just not good enough for me. Um, oh, hair check. Sorry, I, I missed this. That's just not. That's just not good enough for me. Um, I want to see. I tell you what. There, like there. There you go. There, there. There's. There's your brilliant hairline, and there's the brilliant bush. Okay. Um, I need a lot more attention put into this. I think it is incredibly important. Buff Winston. Give Winston jump reset and Elam like dash. <laughs> Isn't most people somewhat happy with the currency of the balance of watch? I think most people are. Um, I just think. If the competitive scene wants to like continue to progress and avoid becoming like double bubble one tricks or brawl one tricks, then just keep doing what they're doing. Like I, I, this last month was great, and obviously they couldn't anticipate that, but also they could have just balance changed like they did here. Like we, they started to see a lot of brawl. What they do? They nerfed Ryan. They nerfed Bap. Uh, uh, what else did they nerf? Uh, there you go. So just just do that and buff Hog and things like that. Just do that. Do that. The problem, the problem is, is that Blizzard has this mindset that like, oh, aggressive balance changes aren't enough. But that's because Blizzard has been dog at aggressive balance changes for years. You guys remember, oh, we're gonna adjust honest thing from 80 to 75. We're gonna decrease Briggs bash from 0 0.8 seconds to 0 0.7 second duration. I mean, that's what they did for years. And, and, and they were surprised when that didn't kill goats, you know what I'm saying? Or, or when they, they, they would blame they kept buffing the DPS heroes instead of installing 222 sooner. So no wonder it was a problem. But the, the balance changes they've been doing earlier have been like actually pretty aggressive. Like removing Ar Ryan's 50 armor, I mean, giving him 50 armor and increasing his swing damage was really big. But then nerfing the armor away? 
that's pretty big man and the whole bap like direct hit thing that's weird that's that's pretty big like i do more of those and you know all right i need to get uh less distracted here uh oh so her position here is actually really fine so she's probably like i want to bash over but uh, like as long as you can pocket like your team's probably not gonna be putting a lot of resources here um and you can kind of control the map here pocket your tracer i don't know if you can reach your doom fist if you can't that is a problem this is not good so you do not want to be so do you see how she chases the dps and that's a matchup that's kind of even ish at least in this proximity but the, here's the problem tracer doesn't have to give up her positioning to do this you do so you are now not contributing to your dps's you're not peeling for your backline and you're chasing a tracer who's really no threat to anybody so in your this is not it i'm, I'm surprised i'll be surprised if doom or anna or tracer don't die here oh very close doom was like 23 HP. Wow, okay. But you can see positioning in terms of like giving up good positions to go chase crap or just sit on cart is a big problem with this break. I'm it's like I mean I, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of autopiloting. And then like oh. oh bless. Unfortunately we didn't have nade earlier. You need to retake high ground here. So probably in this situation here, you would either just walk through here or you could bash over to the left. Probably right side, you'd probably just go right. Go back up to high ground. And you could probably be okay to leave your Ana for a little bit. Because your Ana really should be rotating as well. Because again, your Ana may or may not die, but the, again, the real fight's happening here. You need to be where the real fight is. That's almost more important than protecting a specific target is to actually contribute where the majority of the team is happening. One pack, that's fine. We should probably be packing our Doom here. Pack her Ana. Oh, she just got destroyed. How do we full hold this, man? This is not looking, this is not looking very good. Ooh, questionable rally. That shouldn't have worked. Nice mechanics though. That was, some ni that was a nice whip shot there at the end. Okay. So there, yeah, we're gonna see a full hold here. Yeah, this is Masters. I, I'm, I'm like actually botting out with some of the, 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 the stream stuff here. No, 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 we miss whip shot. And again here, do you kind of see the problem here? We really shouldn't give high ground here. What we should do is this. We should bash across here and hold here, right? So we shouldn't really hold this aggressively here because it's no longer space controlled by our team. You can see the enemy team, but we shouldn't be here. I don't like here. I like here. And you certainly should not be playing aggressively there. She's coming inches away from feeding quite frequently. That whip shot misses. <laughs> Lucio die fills. So we're going a little fast chat because this is mostly trying to focus on like what we talked about Go, 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 go. Retake high ground, retake high ground, retake high ground. Please retake high ground. Please retake high ground. Okay, so like this is a situation again where like you had a window here to where you could have gone back high ground with your Sigma. Or you could go back across this way and play like in here. But I don't, I don't, I do not like, like, like right here. Just get back up to here. Maybe we'd have gotten out of time. I don't know. Maybe not. If not, at the very least, you didn't know that. So now according to her criteria, or criterion, I can't remember which one's plural, you should be rallying right now, right? Because the fight's about to start, so we need to start building up that rally armor. You kind of see my point here? Are we going to follow our own advice, or... We seem very hesitant to. And now we're rallying. Hmm. Hmm. And that works pretty well. Hmm. 
So maybe I'm misunderstanding the way she's wording her phrasing, but she seemed, if, if that's the case, then she was not wording it very well. Because um, it seemed pretty clear to me that she meant no immediately as the fight starts or rallies or mid-fight rallies, and I, I think I would I would disagree. Uh, would you go to your Ana here, Spilo? Um, no, I don't. I don't. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Were they on Monkey as well? If they were on Monkey as well, I, I didn't even check. But yeah, potentially that would be fine. Yeah, it was. It was good. Like obviously, clearly, Masters Brig. It was like overall solid. But definitely, um, you can see some of the issues with some of the, the feedback that they were giving in there. Where in some situ situations she was punished for doing what she said in her guide, and situations where she did not do what she said in her guide, and it went well. I think the overall p the issue there, um, and this is unrelated to the guide. Was I think we talked talk about like saw some of the positional issues that are definitely caused more strain.